Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about steps to take to become a real software developer. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what are the steps for a bootcamp level developer to become a really good developer? Well, if I'm going to be completely politically correct, I would say they're not mutually exclusive. You can be a bootcamp level developer and still be really good. It's just that the definition that I like to use for a bootcamp level developer is that you know the basics usually of just a set of tools, one very narrow stack, like a bootcamp level developer would be someone who, I don't know, took a course in Gatsby and knows enough to get by in Gatsby, but very little less. So like a word, in my world, a WordPress developer at its at the base level is a bootcamp level developer because they they depend almost entirely on that stack or like that specific workflow in order to be able to do something. Uh, and to become like a, a more serious software developer, someone who is the sort of software developer that most of IT is looking for, these more generic, uh, you know, run-of-the-mill software developers who you probably, that these are the people that Google are looking for and like uh, the fan companies and basically everybody in IT that isn't specifically saying that they're looking for like a WordPress developer or something like that. Uh, th to become one of these people, uh, it's really no different from what you're already doing. The difference between a bootcamp level developer and a, like a quote unquote good software developer is usually just down to time and effort. You've, like it's, uh, think of it this way, it's, uh, it's like um, if you want to become a Formula One driver or like a race car driver or something like that, well the first thing you probably want to do is learn how to drive. So maybe getting a driver's license. I mean, of course, there are kids who are learning this, but I hope you see what I'm saying. The di it's the same thing with the bootcamp level developer. You just stopped before you got to the end of the journey, if that makes sense. You've taken like maybe your first few steps if you've taken a few boot camps and learned some specific tools. And in order for you to become, quote unquote, like a real software developer, a professional level software developer, you simply have to continue on that journey and learn more. And that is usually what I find at the very least, because that's kind of the, you've probably seen me say that a few times before, where the expectations uh, that a lot of people have when they see these YouTubers or these sort of people who kind of say, yeah, I learned JavaScript in 10 minutes or become, you know, the how I got a job at X company X, which is super famous in three months as an intern or etc, etc. These sort of people are what I call sensationalists. They What they basically do is that they're selling an enormously false perspective, reality to a lot of people, where maybe maybe under the most extreme circumstances, or like if you are, you are outlandishly fortunate, this thing might happen for you. It's like saying that it's a good strategy to, to you know, if you want to get rich, just play the lottery. It's the same sort of deal, right? It could work in theories. You can't really tell them that they're liars, but as a real software developer, someone who actually knows how this all works, and I feel like I can say that by now, and has had been working in quite a few companies by now, I can tell you that the norm is not that you take a boot camp or two and then that's all there is to it. The norm is that it's a fairly serious investment. And the average software developer, uh, they usually chuckle at these sorts of boot camp uh, sales pitch because it's really down to one thing, in my opinion, and that is that uh, the people are trying to get you to watch their video or they're trying to make some money from you by selling the courses and stuff like that. And it's easier to sell stuff if you think, if you tell people that, oh, you just have to do 10 minutes of work or like a few months of work and then you're off to the races. It's the same thing with fitness. Uh, if you were, tell people that your system works, but it's it's going to take them 10 years to get into shape because there's a lot of personal development that comes into being a, being a really fit person. Who the hell wants to buy a course that takes 10 years to get through? No, no, no. I want the one that uh, that sells me that it's going to take 10 minutes. And that's that's it's basic uh, it's basic marketing usually. So what I want you to take away from this is that uh, the steps from you know to becoming a from going from a bootcamp level developer to a serious software professional is there's no difference between what the 
people who are going to the universities do like what they are doing and so forth it's just that a bootcamp level developer you've just uh, if you just understand that that's just the first step and now you need to continue walking and learn more tools and learn more things and as long as you're making sure that you you understand what tools are relevant to the vast majority of the industry and I've given this tip many times to figure that out either talk to developers that you know or go to the job postings no youtuber no bootcamp uh, no nothing is going to give you more accurate information than your local job posting site that's the place where you will see exactly what people are looking for and then you take another boot camp or you go to the university or whatever and you continue that process until you kind of have a solid understanding of all the tools that are commonly requested or at least most of them and then you start applying for jobs and that's the way that you go from being a boot camp level developer to a professional software developer at the very least that's usually how it how it works based on my experience have a great day